Hi, it's Facial Tech. Is if you're looking for ideas for 3D printing in lockdown, can't order parts, like myself, you're waiting for parts to come. This is quite a nice little project to get you going. What I've done is it's basically lithoplaning, which if you don't know, is where it takes an image and it takes the contrast in parts of the image and makes them thicker and thinner so that they light up. You can see the light uh, in the light if I turn the light off. I don't know if I think it's better to have it from the top because it this blown out part it does not look as bad in real life. It looks quite normalish. But as you can see you can see the letters. I've, this is basically a screenshot I took of a 1080p 16x9. So I can take it and then you said 1080p 16 by 9 image and run it through it and use the same back box. The back box I made. Firstly, I just eyeballed, well, calipered this to see the sizes and instead of printing the entire box I just lowered the box in Cura down just to give me this top lip so I could lay the thing in to make sure it was roughly the right size because this took about 20 minutes while this takes about 2 hours 20 minutes so you know you don't want to print out the entire thing wasting all the filament and everything else when you can just do that which is quite a good top tip um, I used a 12 volt LED strip that you can get off Amazon. This is what I actually used above my printer. So I was glad it left over. You buy like five meters of it, I only used a tiny bit. So I wanted to reuse that. I used a step up, one of these regulators that takes USB and then has a, um, you can adjust it basically. So I adjust it to 12 volts. Well, you can you can adjust it down slightly if you want it to let, uh, not as bright, because you you only, doing what six LEDs here so you can uh, adjust it. The a few different um, things are used in this as well. I for the back cover sticking it on attaching it I used um, just filament holes in the filament uh, holes in the design and then just small enough to wedge the filament through because I, I made this um, crossbow that I didn't make it someone else designed it but I seen in the design they used a similar method so I thought oh, that's quite good because sometimes when you print stuff out it has like oh, and it might have like, uh, oh yeah, we used M6 screws, and you're like, I haven't got any M6 screws, and I can't really do any, so I thought, if you want to print it out, it's like 100% 100% printable. We also printed a little uh, stand for it. Also, with that, I just printed a little cross section of it just to make sure it fit, because it's got like a little lip, so that it um, is kind of attached to it, just hooks around, and it's at a 10 degree angle, so it's nice on the side. Um, I did go through quite a few iterations. I started out um, embossing the uh, text, the um, subtitle text, but that didn't quite work. This is a tiny one, this one, just to see if it actually would work or not. These like really blurry images, I ended up downloading the episode and screenshotting it to get without the without the text and then adding that later. But to do that, I the workbench in uh, FreeCAD, which I'll link in the description in the blog post you can't do anything to the well i couldn't find a way to once it's processed it's done you basically have to export export it as an stl then i imported it into tinkercad because it's the uh, it's just an online easy tool to make and then that's what i uh, debossed the text with and the same with that it's kind of not that great because you can't really pick the fonts. There's only a couple of fonts, fonts to pick from and resizing it, you're literally just dragging and you're not typing in specific sizes, which I like to do. But yeah, that's, um, as usual, there's a link in the description with a blog post explaining more about it and how to, with all the files, I'll put these two uh, files online. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.